So in my last video, I showed you how to use a contact microphone to trigger drum sounds. And in that video, I had two microphones. Each one was connected to its own sound. So I think I had one mic controlling bass drum and another mic controlling snare or something like that. And so the obvious follow-up question is, can I use just one mic to control multiple drum sounds? And the answer is yes. You just need a few different timbres. Okay, so in another previous video, I showed you this stroke classifier software that I wrote. And so we can use this. And so the way this works is that I can train this software to recognize different timbres. So I'll start by training timbre number one and I'll use this uh, mallet to do that. So and then I'll train timbre number two and I'll just use the plain end of this other mallet. Okay, and then I'll save those, and now it should be able to tell the difference between this mallet and this mallet. Okay. And so the way this works, which I showed in the video about this stroke classifier, is that this software kind of sends OSC messages, which I receive in Max MSP, and then I kind of use those messages to either trigger the bass drum sound or the snare drum sound, depending on which timbre was recognized. And so maybe I should point out a couple of the downsides to doing it this way. One is that there's just a little bit more latency, which makes it a little bit harder to play perfectly in time. The other is that this method isn't as good at figuring out how hard I struck. Um, it does try to figure out, but it doesn't do a great job of it, which is why I have all the sounds that I have coming out now are the same loudness regardless of kind of how hard I strike this. Yeah, one other limitation to point out is you can't really play two sounds at the same time because it's just one microphone. But yeah, aside from that, it does work relatively well. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that, just a short video. So I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.